Testing, testing. One, two, three. Let's see if I can sit still and talk for a few minutes here. Welcome to my podcast studio. It's my whole shop. I'm using earbuds because it's pretty echoey in here and I'm hoping using the earbuds, it'll cancel out some of the echo. And then I'll just take this and add it to this. I might not even add that, but we'll see. Anyways, today we are gonna be talking about uh, a total archery challenge setup. Um, I'm hoping it's, it's still a go. We've got a few months here yet before they start kicking off and rolling with this whole uh, pandemic and whatnot. So hopefully they're not canceled. I'm really hoping they're not canceled. I'm not gonna go till the very last one. Actually, I think they switched it now. I think Utah is the last one now. I've been to the Total Archery Challenge in Big Sky three times now, and I've done pretty well at all of them actually. The first year I won the Sitka system, which was an awesome system. It was like $3,200 Canadian uh, system. 2018 I went there, I won the Sitka system again, and I won the Total Archery Challenge truck, the Toyota Tacoma. And I went last year and I won uh, another Sitka system. I wasn't allowed to shoot at the uh, truck because I am a Canadian. Sorry guys. Uh, anyways, so we're gonna run down um, kind of what I ran with last year and kind of what I'm bringing from last year to what I'm gonna be running this year. So um, the first year I went, I ran a single pin slider sight and it worked really well. I was able to get like 111 yards out of it, which was, which was, which was good. There was a couple shots that I had to aim high a little bit and shoot because there's uh, times where you're shooting out there up to 120 yards sometimes. And there's actually quite a few long shots because we hardly ever shoot the locals courses, which is the closer one. It's like a normal 3D range. So we always just shoot long bobs. Anyways, uh, first year I ran the prime rise there. I had a single pin and it worked good. The next year I went, I took my, my logic, the 31 inch axle to axle. I ran a multi pin and that one was, I mean, that was a bomb setup. So, um, and I won a bunch of stuff with it. Last year I went with the CT3. I actually just, I had my 31 shooting really well. And uh, my CT3 was supposed to have showed up like three weeks prior, but it showed up like two days prior. So, and I was, I was on the fence of setting it up because my logic was shooting so well. So I had to try it. So I had an extra rest I threw on there. I threw an, an old sight on there, got it tuned up, shot a group down there at 70 and it wadded them in there. So I figured what the heck, I'll just switch everything over. So I did that, I went to Montana, shot it and it turned out really well. So again, I shot a, uh, a multi-pin housing. So actually I got a brand new one right here. Got a brand new one right here that I may use. So it's just a five pin multi-slider XL. Uh, this is the same one I got on my hunting bow right now. Um, but uh, I may run this one. I'm not 100% sure if I do because what I got right now on my setup, by the way, this year I'm going to be rocking the Black 5 uh, from Prime. And uh, it's going to be like a 3D, uh, a tweener. It's a tweener bow. That's what it is. So it's like a hybrid between a hunting and a 3D setup essentially. So uh, this is the site that I've got. This is the Carbon uh, Achieve right now, the compound. And right now is a 31 millimeter housing and I've got a four power lens in there with a 10 thou up pin. I really like this setup. This is like my 3D setup and I'm really used to the sight picture and what have you, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna take this to tack or not. I have some testing to do. I need to see what I can get for range out of this because I want at a minimum 120 yards a pin. Sorry about that, I had a phone call come in. But yes, if I can get, whoa, whoa. If I can get 120 yards out of this sight housing, I'm gonna run it because I think the four powered lens is gonna be super helpful. Um, especially when we're kind of, I like to shoot for scoring rings. I mean, depending, we always have challenges amongst our groups um, of cash challenges, last man standing essentially. So it's not for score wise, it's just hit the target. Uh, so I'll talk a little bit more about that later. But yeah, so that's my that's my site setup. I'm hoping I can I can set up, but it all depends on where my zero is going to be. I think I'm going to set my zero at probably about 50 yards where it's comfortable, maybe 60 yards where it's just comfortable on my anchor point, my peep height, so I don't have to crunch or lift up. So that way, once I get to 100, I'm still comfortable, you know, because that's what screws a lot of guys up in long range stuff is, you know, they'll set their 
their comfort, their sight at, say, their center pin at 40 yards or whatever, or 30 yards, well, by the time you got to shoot to 80 or 100, your actual nose is coming off your sight, and you're looking up to see through your peep, and that's, you can get a lot of variances up, down. I find you'll get high lows big time. So if you can eliminate that, obviously, the more eliminations you can have the errors at long range are going to benefit you uh, drastically. So that's the side I'm hoping to use. Uh, if not, then I'll probably just throw that multi pin on because I know I can get like 130 out of that site. So uh, let's put that down there. Um, arrow, uh, I'll be ro rocking the rampage. Uh, this arrow's treated me really well for the last few years through hunting and specifically kind of for tack and some long range stuff. So I've got low profile fletching, uh, 120 grain tips. This is a 350 spine. So this is probably really close to the year I'll be running. Um, I might shorten it up a little bit because I do think this arrow is a little underspined for this bow. This bow is only 66 pounds, uh, but it's fast. It's, it's, it's quite fast. I'm, I haven't chronographed it yet. I will eventually uh, when my buddies comes available and we're able to escape outside and do sweet things because it's cold out and the old pandemic thing kind of got everyone locked down. But um, yeah, so that's kind of going to be my sight setup. Uh, the bow setup is pretty simple. Um, for right now, I've just got a basic tune on it. I've just got a rec the prime recommend the prime recommended uh, basic tune. I've just lined up their four dots on their cams, um, set the stops, and the thing shoots really nice. I might tweak around a little bit with holding weight and stuff, but. Um, I'm running a 15 inch on the front and a uh, 10 inch on the back and whatever, there's eight, nine, 10 on the front and I've got eight, nine, 10 on the back. All right, so, so we're even there. Plus this little thing is like an ounce, I think. But uh, that might change. I don't know if I'll take this much weight with me up all over the mountain because it does get quite tiresome on your arms, dragging it around all day because you will put on some kilometers at these total archery challenges, believe you me. Um, just a regular LP sight. I might replace this LP sight just because it's it's falling apart on the inside. I've had it for a long time. It's beat up. So uh, there's a couple other sights I might try out. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty simple setup, but it does. It shoots freaking awesome, man. I'm really, really, really excited for 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 this. I uh, shot, shot a couple games with it just in my shop at 20 yards, and it performs really nice um, for, for a hunting bow. And, and I haven't got a lot of practice in lately obviously because it's freaking winter out still. Seems crazy. I know it's end of March here in Alberta. Woo, go Alberta. It's like minus 20 this morning, no joke. Right now it's a little nicer. It's like below freezing, but we got like three inches of snow last night again. This winter will just not end, so. Um, yeah, and other than that, I just, I mean, I'm sticking with my release, the Fulcrum Flex. Uh, this is a hinge style release. This is the release I just run for everything, hunting, everything. Yeah, pretty straightforward. Uh, also I was going to say if I am running a multi pin, so this guy, this little guy right here, if I'm running the multi pin, I'll actually start, I'll, I'll use my bottom pin and I'll adjust it to where I want it first. My very bottom pin. So I'll adjust that just to where it's off of the, uh, the bubble. And then I'll sight that in on the, on the, on the slider, wherever that needs to be to hit like 70 yards. And then I'll sight backwards from there, you know, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30 or I might even go to 80 and delete my 30 pin and 20 pin because literally hardly ever take shots at 30 yards at the total archery challenge. And that way I can get more distance. So when I run my bottom pin as the slider, so we'll just use my hand for instance, bottom pin as the slider, if I run that at 70 instead of, you know, my center or my top, I can get a lot more yardage out of that because this is already way the freak down there. I'll usually set that as my comfortable, you know, as my comfortable anchor point at like 70. If you don't want to know what I mean by that is, is uh, so I'll, I'll get, my, get my sight set at 70 at my bottom pin, whatever pin I'm using for, for my distance I want to be comfortable at. And I adjust my peep and my sight because you have to adjust them together. So some guys, you know, get tucked in. I don't like being tucked in. Uh, and my, I like to be comfortable at my normal uh, average distance. So. I'll adjust my peep height so I don't have to come off the string or tuck in. The close shots, I'd rather have to tuck in on the close shots because, let's face it, they're closer, they're easier to shoot. Uh, I would rather be more comfortable on my long range shots. So that's kind of the gist of my setup. And I mean, I'll probably make a few tweaks here and there. 
Um, one other thing I did want to mention is this bow is, is drawing a little bit long. Like this is, I got on the 30 inch, uh, the 30 inch marks and I usually shoot around a 30 and an eighth, um, depending on the bow. I know my shorter axle to axle, I shoot like a 30 and a quarter, but this one actually drew out. If I set everything according to the numbers, it drew, a, drew out at like 30 and a quarter. So like a quarter inch long. So I, sh you know, shaved it up to like 30 on the nose and actually my holding weight got pretty high. Um, which, which can be good and can be bad. I don't know, I haven't played with it enough yet to really figure out, I, I'm gonna say I'm kind of weak yet for, for shooting. But um, I'm, I'm, I've actually noticed that I, I went to the 29 and a half setting and maxed out my draw stops to their points. And so I'm at like 29 and seven eighths kind of thing right in there and it feels really good. I've got like good let off. I think it was like 10 pounds, 10 pounds of holding weight right there or maybe eight, I don't remember what it was, but it was, it felt really good, really nice and comfortable. And I felt like I could make a little bit stronger shots, but that could be just because I'm not, I'm not in shooting shape yet. So um, soon we will be in shooting shape. We'll get outside, the snow will melt. We'll be able to drop some serious bombs, get some marks out there to hopefully 120, 130 yards. And, uh, but for now, that's basically what I'm planning on practicing with. Other than that, guys, we're, uh, we're, we'll do some shooting here. We'll do some more videos. Uh, uh, like and subscribe. Don't forget to please like and subscribe my channel and shoot me some questions either on my Instagram or on YouTube here to uh, some more info on what some questions on if uh, just questions. Shoot me some questions. I don't know. Anything. Ask me what the weather's like here in Alberta and I'll tell you it's probably crappy. Uh, anyways, also comment if you guys would like to see other videos of anything else. Cause I mean, I'm just at home here. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be at home here with this whole uh, explosion of the world, but take care. Hope you guys enjoy this. I don't know if this is going to be like a podcast thing. I might start a podcast and uh, start going out there and just taking the audio from this. So hopefully, hopefully you enjoy it. Uh, follow me over on Instagram at Eric Shippey, bow hiker, 24, seven, 365 later. That was like, call me. Don't call me just later.